Okay, welcome back. So now we're going to put all this together and uh, kind of sort through this terminology in an example of a designed experiment. Okay, so say we're, we're studying a new weight loss drug. Um, we've got individuals, we're, we're not really sure what dosage of the drug is most effective, so we're looking at either 5 milligrams, 10 milligrams, or maybe they get the placebo. Right? We're also interested in how does exercise affect this. Right? So some people are going to get a, a prescribed exercise program, some people are not. So how many factors do we have here? Right? Remember, factors are the, the variables, the characteristics, the things that we're changing. All right, so there are two factors here. What are they? Doses of drug they receive and whether or not they're put on the exercise program. So what are our levels here? All right, for our first factor, doses of drugs, there are three levels. For our exercise program, they're either on it or not, yes or no. So how many treatment combinations are here? Right. Well, there's two levels of the exercise program, three levels of drugs. So this is what we might call a two by three ex factorial experiment. All right. There's actually six treatment combinations. I think a helpful way of doing this is kind of kind of picturing this in a table. All right. So if you can picture this, right, we've got all of our different levels of drug here. We've got whether or not they're on the exercise program. So you could think about this treatment combination of placebo and no exercise program. Maybe you could think about that as the, the control group. All right? The others are all getting some sort of treatment. Okay, so we're also, so where we have exercise program, yes, placebo, and when they're just getting placebo here, right? we're also kind of seeing, well, is it just exercise that's, that's helping weight loss? Is the drug actually effective? Okay, so all of these different treatment combinations allow us to test all kinds of different situations. I hope that helps kind of pull all these definitions and terms together. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.